I'm looking for fossils today along the Jurassic coast at low tide. I'm heading east of Lyme Regis looking for fossils. There's always some nice ammonites here to see on this limestone pavement as you go out. I like wetting this ammonite here. And you can see the chambers, the creature filled with water or gas to give it its buoyancy in the sea. I'm getting right out along the Jurassic coast to find the fossils today. Here is the remnants of the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide, having hurtled down onto the shoreline in just 40 minutes, three quarters of a million tons arriving on the beach. Here should be some good areas for finding fossils in as I walk down along this section. I've stopped here because I've spotted a piece of the sea lily stem, a piece of crinoid there. Doesn't look like very much on the back. There's the sort of side, white side of the crinoid that you can see sometimes jutting out of the mudslides. Oh, that's a nice piece. Look at that. Some sea lily stems, the animal related to the starfish crinoids. Sweat that in the rock pool. Look at that. I'm really pleased with that. That's a really good start to the day. Piece of the sea lily stem. Well, a good amount of area I can cover here at low tide. As the sea retreats, it exposes a lot of rock pools and places to look. I'm really pleased with that sea lily find. That's a good specimen to take home. I'll put it in fresh water when I get home and soak the salt out of it and uh, give it a bit of a scrub up. Uh, maybe with a bit of toothpaste, that's mildly abrasive and that will scrub some of the mud off the edges. So I'm right here at low tide looking for fossils along the Jurassic coast. Well, I'm not spotting a lot on the surface, but I found a good place to sit here. A lot of iron pyrites, the fool's gold, here on the beach. Chuck it up into the sieve. And I'm gonna give this all a good shake in the seawater. See what comes out. of iron pyrites in there. That's always a good sign in terms of finding fossils. There's part of one sticking out, protruding out of the material. I can see there straight away. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Fossil ammonite from the Jurassic. Didn't look like much on that side. Well, I'm really pleased with this, just walking along and spotting fossils in between the rocks at the low tide mark. You can see down here, just as I was stepping forward, I'll just show you as I found it. There's my reflection there in the rock pool. A backbone there from an ichthyosaur. 190 million year old fossil find from the Jurassic age. I'm pleased with that. That's another good find today, the 8th of October and I'm starting to find a few fossils again after a bit of a long dry spell during the summer when I was just finding pyrite ammonites, material of that nature, a few bits of crinoid, back to finding a few backbones and material of that nature. The sun's finally decided to come out a little bit. Let's go and have a look in the rocks for some fossil finds. Oh, just down here you can see, yep, it is a very small backbone there. Very small. Well, perhaps I've got my eye in for bone fossil finds today. Just noticed here in this rock pool area. 
a piece of backbone just down here. Broken by the sea's actions. Well, that's part of an ichthyosaur's backbone there. Well, I've come all the way down here towards Charmouth to look for these right rocks that split like slate. Finally got this corker protruding out of the rock in a topstone nodule. You can see some of the sea creature life still on the outside of that rock, but nice to save this ammonite here from the Jurassic Age. I'm going to give it a really good tap with a hammer, cleave that fossil out of the rock, see which way it goes. There it is, the impression one side. The ammonite's gone off into the rock pool. Look at the sun shining on that. The first time it's seen the light of day in 190 million years. A really nice ammonite from the Jurassic. Thanks for watching my fossil hunting video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The next video upload will have a lovely ichthyosaur jaw in it. So please have a look at that one when I post that video on YouTube. Thank you.